You know, we have a number of financial issues in the country. Canadians are very quick to borrow. They're not very active to save. You're teaching financial literacy in schools. How can you help make us better managers of money with the uh, personal finance and financial literacy curriculum you have? First of all, build awareness. It's a conversation now that's going to happen in Ontario schools. Students are going to have much more of an awareness of the repercussions of their sort of decision making early on. And yeah, that that's, can, that's going to be huge, I think. Yeah, and um, to, to realize when they start getting a part-time job, let's say, uh, or start saving for school and have their parents help them save for school, the conversation is happening. There's much more of an awareness of the kinds of decisions that they make now and what kind of repercussions that will you know, be created in the future in terms of spending too much, not saving enough and just ha being unaware completely that that's a part of their life that they need to actually learn something about. Now, in closing, is it fair to say that you want to teach them about personal finance so they don't have to learn in the school of hard knocks? We're looking at well-being, we're looking at compassionate citizenship, and yeah, it's that uh, let's learn it now instead of learning the, the, the hard stuff later. Great, thank you, Emer. You're welcome.